how's that looking I'm not sure about this piece down here it looks it's messy and it's a bit grungy but I'm gonna leave that I'm gonna leave that because it kind of adds to the sort of grungy effect that they were looking for let's take out a few of the little pieces just the main white flecks and all I'm doing here is using the clone tool sampling and then moving around really quick to do to zoom out again let's go to a hundred percent sorry just full yeah okay okay let's look at everything together there so that basically looks okay for the the starting point and so the next thing that I'd like to do let's just check what we were going to do there okay yeah so we removed the few pieces that we wanted to and we've still got the, the reflectivity at the top of the screen which we want to remove and some of this down here and you wanted to add a bit of mystery in the lighting to the whole thing so let's look at the um, the mystery to the the whole lighting there and the I'll just move that layer down to the bottom there so the way that I, I managed to add a bit of mystery to it was just to do something a little bit unusual and that's to um, just take a little cloud picture here and the cloud picture you'll be going what on earth is he going to do with a cloud in this image and it doesn't have to be very high resolution but we'll just take that cloud picture there just resize it on its separate layer here I've got a separate layer for the cloud over the main photograph and what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to take it I'm going to uh, adjust it and uh, desaturate it so I'm going to go to desaturate and when we've got the desaturated image there I'm going to give it a bit of a Gaussian blur and there's no science to the amount of blur that I'm using all that I'm looking for is to get uneven patches of light on there so we can see sort of grained um, white on there so what I do is then I, I take that and I don't want so much of this white in here I don't want it illuminated I want most of it dark to give it that sort of grungy sinister unsettling feeling so what we can do is we can then adjust that image again and you could again use layers if you wanted to do this non-destructively um, but all I'm doing is to take that and I'm going to invert it so then what we've got is a, are these sort of dark patches and these lighter patches and what I'll do is I'll then change that layer type to uh, overlay so what you've got now is if I just uh, that's with the layer the cloud layer it turned on and that's with it turned off so as you can see it really does darken things down and it adds a certain amount of mystery to the shot we've got these uneven pools of light and these pools of light make it feel a little bit uncertain about what's happening so that's what you can do that's just something that I was experimenting with to give uneven lighting and then what we can do is move on to the next piece so the next thing that I'd like to do is to uh, add a new layer and with that layer what did we say we wanted to do next so let's just remind ourselves of that top image oh yeah so we wanted to dull down some of the um, sort of reflections in the main areas to sort of make that even a little bit more sinister there and uh, more foreboding so well what we could do is we could use dodge and burn or we can just uh, create another uh, overlay layer for example and in the overlay layer we can just um, press uh, D to go to the default colors of black and white and what I can do is I can go to a, a regular brush choose a, a brush of quite a, a large size so let me just do that uh, so something like that will be okay um, I'll keep the opacity down to about 30 percent and I'm just adjusting that with a touch strip on the back of the tablet so most of the functions I can get to really quickly just with the tablet controls so what I'm going to do is just 
paint over this uh, a little bit just to take some of that out and I've got it on I've got it on a fairly soft brush and that's darkening it down I might just up the uh, increase the opacity there just a little bit just to go a bit faster but you'll get the idea of what I'm trying to do just trying to darken the main parts down there switch the brush size again just go down the uh, middle a little bit a bit over here so you get the idea that you can easily just uh, do a little bit of changing of the feeling of that so if we uh, take that layer off you can see we've removed the major reflections then we didn't have to be very precise so there we are with on and off so if we have a look at the um, image before so we've got all of those pieces in we've got the reflections uh, we've got these little distractions um, and then we can add in each layer so you can see so first of all we had the uh, the layer here which removed a few of the little bits and pieces then we had the layer which out was the clouds which was an overlay uh, layer with those clouds desaturated and inverted so that adds that uneven distracting lighting and then we've got that other layer on top of that which removes some of the reflection that's all done really quite quickly there so let's go back to our main picture so I think we've dealt with most things there and then the only thing that I did want to do on top of that was to create a new layer and in that layer I was just going to do a little bit more painting um, around the edges so I'm going to go to uh, a 30 percent uh, opacity something like that and what I'm looking to do here is just to darken down the edges a little bit so that um, we've got the eye drawn into the center of the picture so if I just do that all I'm doing is I'm just painting in black onto that layer it's on normal at the moment so it's going to be a bit extreme but we'll switch it to overlay in a second so let's just switch that to overlay Okay. Okay, we just darken that down there. That kind of draws the eye in a little bit, so let's see how that's looking. probably a little bit more extreme than I really want so let's just reduce the opacity a little bit okay that looks approximately right for how I, how I wanted it and that was just a, a quick demonstration of how to turn something which is just a, a simple photograph taken with a wide angle lens into something which is a bit more of a sinister foreboding backdrop for the uh, production company Rico.tv for them to use for their contact page. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.